and cut a quarter inch dowel and set it in place down below. I measured it and figured out that I need to lay out the holes so I could put the new uh, stick and ball down below there in there about every two inches apart. And I'm going to put an odd number in there. Uh, so I'm going to drill nine holes in that top three-quarter inch dowel. This is a piece of three-quarter inch plywood that I've cut a channel in. It's a V-groove. Right here I've drilled a five-eighths hole about a quarter inch deep. And that's where I'll put the little balls to keep them in alignment when I drill them on the drill press. When you set up the V-groove, make sure that the bottom of the V lines up accurately with the tip of your brad point bit. So there's my uh, piece of plywood clamped to my uh, drill press table with the dowel in it ready to drill. You can see that I'm using a brad point bit 1764ths, this is a little bit larger than a quarter and I got my marks all laid out ready. Now the only problem I have is how do I stop it from twisting and make it so all of those are in line when I slide it. I'll show you. I clamped the drill press vise and grabbed the dowel and the flat spots slide against the piece of plywood. I've set my drill to go in approximately three-eighths of an inch. Now we're ready to go. When you want to move your clamp, just set the drill bit in the hole, lock it in place, that holds it there, and then you can loosen it and move it. See? Now, I can move it. And it stays in line. So that's it. That's the last hole. Just take off the clamp. And there it is. It's all drilled. Now we're ready to drill holes in the little ball. The drill and pull it down in there until we get it in proper alignment and then clamp it. Okay. There we go. Now Put the ball in place. And I gotta lower the table just a hair. So I can get the balls in and out easy. Now. There we go. So we want to drill not all the way through because it'll tear out the grain on the other side. So we want to drill it so that it just barely pokes through the other side with the point. So we know how to, so we can line it up. So we set the drill to do that.
Okay. Now we'll try it with this one and see how it works. Yeah, I'm going to drill through the uh, this slab grain rather than the end end grain, edge grain. And I'm going to go all the way through and see what happens. But I'm going to clamp it with a little clamp so that it doesn't spin out of my hand. Got this little wood Jorgensen clamp that works great. So I just clamp it to give, hold on to it. I'm ready to go. Here we go. Now you can just barely see the tip where it came through. There's a little pinpoint there. And that's what we want. We take it out of the clamp, put it back in the hole, and we line that, our uh, brad point to that little pinhole there. Lock it in place. Reclamp it. Okay, now we're ready to go. There we go. We got a nice clean hole through there now. And I guess sometimes you do get a little tiny bit of fuzz out. But I just, uh, you know, sand it off. So, now the next thing we want to do is drill. I'm going to drill all, all of them that way. And half of them have another hole in it where the other stick goes in. So I'm going to show you how I line that up. Okay, I put the 1764 drill bit back in because I want a tight joint, tight glue joint. That goes in there like that, and I take a, I put a little quarter inch dowel through the hole to hold me in line. Okay, and then I can find out where I want to, want to drill a hole. I'm going to drill a hole right, right there on the side where you can see where the machine mark was when it was manufactured. So that's where I'm going to drill a hole. Now to start it. And pull the dial out and finish it. That's it. There it is. And we got a ball. A ball that we can put a stick through this way. And a stick through this way. And then we can put another ball through this way. And you see what we're doing? We're making our little Stick and ball. That's it.